Right, so let's look at a little bit of machine learning. So what we'll, what we'll do is we'll have a look at the, the diabetes uh, data set. So if you're interested, the diabetes data set is, is here. Okay, so it's, it's based on uh, this this uh, well-known database. And you can have a look at the paper here. Uh, but it has a number of parameters which we use, such as the number of times pregnant, the pl plasma glucose concentration, and and so on. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and train the system to take these parameters and then actually train against age. So we'll take a small section uh, of the of the whole data set, and then we'll train it. We'll create a model, and then we'll try and predict the age from that. Okay, so here's the full data set here, and there's the age there, 50, 31, 32, and so on. So I think it goes from 20 up to 69. That's it there. Okay, so so that's that's our 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 core data that we're going to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to train our our system against uh, that that data. Okay, so we're going to use pandas to be able to uh, import our data sets and make it easy for us to be able to analyze. Then we're going to use the sklearn uh, to be able to uh, create the model and make some predictions. Okay, so we'll import these two uh, elements here. That's for uh, for creating our test our test data. We're going to split the test data out and then we're going to use that to train our model and then this is going to create our model okay so we're going to use the random forest method so the first thing that we do is to take our pandas and read read it in okay so that's the first element there we'll read the data in and then what we'll do is that uh, we'll then train on these parameters against our, our our y which is the age and we're going to take a third of the data set and we'll make a random selection okay so we're going to take a third of the whole data set and train it okay so this ends up with our our actual training data that we're that we're going to take so train here should have the the uh, the data that we're going to use if we wanted, we could actually have a look at what that looks like. If we just run this, Oops. okay. So that that was our training data there. There's our training data. Okay, so it's selected a, a number of uh, rows within inside the data set, and this is what we're going to train against. And it would have taken a third of the the rows. Okay, so that's that's our training data there. Then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try and fit our our model. Okay, so the the Y train uh, gives us the actual results of what we're training against. So again we can run that. And there we go. Okay, so there's the there's the values. So we're taking our train. Okay, so that has these parameters. And then we're going to take our Y train. So the Y train is the age. Okay, so it's randomly taken a third of the data set, a third of the rows, and picked off train, and it's picked off the equivalent Y value for us. Then what we'll do is that we'll take our whole data set, and we'll make some predictions, and we'll see how successful we are. Okay, so we'll go through the predictions uh, that, it, that it's made, and we'll look at the error between the predicted value and the actual value that we have in our data set. And let's say if it's less than 
or equal to 6 as an error then that's a success if it's not then it's failed and then we'll just print that out with the error <coughs> and at the end we'll have a success rate and a failure rate okay so let's go ahead and let's try it out okay so it's 103 success and 151 uh, fails there so we'll just get rid of that here okay so we can do a quick check to see how good that that is okay so it's 103 divided by 154 uh, so we have a 60 67 percent success there sorry so it's 103 divided by 254 Sorry, we have a 41% success rate. Okay, so we need to understand if that's actually a good rate or not. So if we randomly selected values, would we get more or less than that value? So one way to predict this is that we said, let's guess 26 each time. So 26 would get us between 20 and 32 as a success. Okay. So hope you get that. And that is 13 values. Okay, the age ranges are from 20 to 69. So I think that's 49 values. So let's calculate the success that we would get if we just randomly picked a value. And that will be 13 divided by 49. And we get 20. 26.5 okay so 26.5 as opposed to 40 we've improved our success rate so our machine learning technique has worked okay so that's that's the basic method of how we would use machine learning to be able to train our 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 python code against uh, our data set